No matter who you are, all the rock and roll will be welcome. What could be better? All the rock and roll, the world welcome. We're like the brightest star. All the rock and roll, the world welcome. We shine together. We shine together, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Church School. I'm Pastor Lisa, and I am so happy to see you today. Hi, I'm Peggy, and I'm happy to see you. And this is my friend. It doesn't have a name. You may have to send me a name. She's so new, sad. <laughs> and I'm Ruby, and I'm happy to see you, too. Today is a very special Sunday. Today is Pentecost. It's the day that we celebrate the birthday of the church. It's the day that God gave the Holy Spirit to all of Jesus's followers, which helped them speak in other languages so that they could tell every single person how much Jesus loves them. And it's the day that we celebrate the church being born as we all who love Jesus love to get together to worship God online or in person, however it is that we can be church together. Today, we are going to learn all about that first Pentecost Sunday as we wear red to celebrate Pentecost today. But before we do, let's say a prayer together. Let's bow our heads and talk to God. Dear God, help us experience your awesome power, just like the disciples did on that very first Pentecost, when you gave them your Holy Spirit to connect them together as brothers and sisters in the church. We ask that you help us feel connected as brothers and sisters, even when we don't see each other face to face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's listen to Ruby read the story about that very first Pentecost day from the Bible. Ruby? This is Acts 2, 1 to 41. <clears throat> the disciples were waiting together in a house in Jerusalem. Suddenly, a sound like a howling, fierce wind filled the entire house. The disciples looked around to see what was happening. They saw little flames of fire on each of them. It was the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit that would be with them always. The disciples began to speak other languages. They spoke about all the great things God had done. People outside the house heard the noises coming from inside the house. What is happening? The people wondered. Some people were confused. What does all this mean? They asked. Peter spoke to the people. God has sent the Holy Spirit to us. That is what you have seen and heard. The people listened to Peter as he told them about Jesus. Peter encouraged the people to believe in Jesus and to be baptized. The Holy Spirit will be given to you, Peter told the people. Many of the people believed Peter's words. 3,000 people were baptized and became followers of Jesus that day. What an amazing story. Let's watch a video about what happened on that first Pentecost day. That's it for today. Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Sophia. Hi, Sophia and Rachel. You both sound like you're from another country. <laughs> We're practicing. I came to turn in my report. Great. Thank you, Rachel. What language were you guys speaking? It's French. 
We just came from French class, so we're practicing what we learned. That sounds like it would be difficult to learn. It takes a lot of practice. The disciples spoke in different languages, but it's because of the Holy Spirit. Many disciples came together for the Jewish celebration of Pentecost. For Jews, Pentecost is the first day of the Festival of Weeks. There would have been a lot of people gathering to celebrate in Jerusalem. Cool. While they were together, there was a great noise that sounded like the wind blowing through. Next, there were flames that sat on each of the disciples' heads. The disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began speaking in other languages. There were Jews from every nation visiting Jerusalem. And when they heard the disciples speaking other languages, they gathered outside where they were meeting. The crowds were surprised to hear the disciples speaking in all of the different languages. How are they speaking all languages? What does this mean? Peter stepped out and reminded them about what the prophet Joel said many years ago. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young will see visions. Your elders will dream dreams. Peter began to describe that there would be wonders in the heavens and signs on the earth. Then he told them that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord would be saved. Peter told them that God worked miracles through Jesus, God's son. The crowds were curious and wanted to know what they could do. Peter told them to change their hearts and lives and be baptized. Then God would give them the gift of the Holy Spirit. If I saw a fire floating over us, I don't know what I'd do. But that sure was a great miracle. Yep. The Holy Spirit used the disciples to speak in languages they didn't even understand. You're right. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that story, Sophia. Before we leave, why don't you teach us a word in French? Sure. What would you like to learn? Can you teach us how to say goodbye? Okay. Goodbye is au revoir. All right, kids. Let's say that together. Uh, Great job. Do you know another language? What do you think is amazing about God? What do you feel is amazing in your life? What can you do to help your church and community? Do you remember our memory verse? We've been working on it all month. As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard from Acts 4 verse 20. Have you been practicing the sign language? Let's watch the video. Hi, I'm Leanne, and I'm going to teach you some signs to go with the Bible verses for May. First, we have we, and we have not, which also works for don't or can't, and you shake your head when you do it, not. And stop, and speak, see, and hear. And here's the verse. As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Acts 4, verse 20. Each of us will say the memory verse, and we hope that you will say it with us. As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we, whoops, we have seen and heard. <laughs> we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. As for us, we can't stop speaking 
about what we have seen and heard. Great job practicing your memory verses, everyone. This was our scripture for May, and the next time we meet, we will have a new one that we can learn together. But for now, you can keep practicing this one and all the other ones that we have learned together. Our video church school is about to end, but the fun doesn't stop here because there are other activities attached to our church newsletter so that you can continue to learn about about Pentecost and the way that God's Holy Spirit spread among all the followers of Jesus, including us. You can see that there are all sorts of cookies and crafts, some exploration in our Bible story so that you can keep reading and learning. There's all sorts of pictures and puzzles for you to work through as you continue to learn and grow. And then there's a chance for you to have some devotional time with your family, where you explore the story together and ask questions and have a time of prayer as well. And of course, you can keep practicing your sign language memory verse. If there is anything at all you need, craft supplies or hard copies of the activities, please let me know and I can send things to you in the mail. Before we go today, we are all going to offer you a blessing. Remember that you are a child of God and the Holy Spirit helps you share the good news. Eres un hijo de Dios. Remember that you are a child of God and the Holy Spirit helps you share the good news. Jesus loves me in Japanese. Yes, Sama wa watashi wo aisteru. Remember that you are a child of God and the Holy Spirit helps you share the news. Jesus leaped me. Let's have a prayer together before we go. Let's bow together to talk to God. Dear God, we praise you for the mighty power and miracles that you showed on Pentecost. Help us feel the power of your Holy Spirit as we share the good news of Jesus's love with every person that we meet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being here, everybody. Bye. Bye.